Hey crafty peeps, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a project share for a swap I was involved in on uh, Jennifer's channel, or I think this was a part of a group she's associated with. And it was her turn to host the swap. So she hosted a swap and it was called the matchbook card making, matchbook card making kit swap. And in this swap, we were in groups of four we had to make three and i created one for Geneva, of course and it was a card making kit meaning we had to make a card send the extras for three more cards uh we had to make a memory decks a set of four embellishments and a goodie a store bought goodie so i'll show you some of the things i used um and then as we go along i'll show you some of the other things i used for as dies i used uh, my cottage cuts 3d flower die number six i also use this uh die this is from scrap diva 29 from her shop and the love tag kit i use the uh one of these tags i think it was this size i used um also use this memento rainbow shaker uh, die i use this um for making some things Along with this, is this a KS Craft? No, well, I did pick this up from Amazon. And it creates these words. So I used the shine. And what else? Oh, and one more die here. This particular one, this is a KS Craft. And this makes, this is used to hold a lollipop. It comes through a cake pop, I guess. But I used it as, a, as packaging. And I'll show you how, um, how it came out. And far as paper, I used a couple of different things. This Cricut cardstock. And this is called Craft Board, actually. And I would say this paper, I would say, actually, this is probably like 120 pound weight. Very sturdy. And it has, it's a sampler pack of white, craft, and black. So I used the craft and black from here also use this tonic uh, mirror card one of my favorites this one is called water spray and a few other papers that I use this glitter sheet this came from Hobby Lobby it's a single sheet and it's named chunky glitter iridescent this paper from pebbles live life happy this one is called happy rainbows double-sided so I used that along with this sheet really cute the mass love from american crafts this one is called life support he has the skates and then it has these words which i use some of both and then some other solid cardstock i had so let me just show you uh, my mash book oh and it had to include a dangle so this is what i created so here's the dangle on the side and i just used some beads i had in my stash these beads I picked up from Hobby Lobby, but these others are just things I had in my stash. Made a little dangle there and secured it with an eyelet and so on a lobster. No, actually it's just on a ring. And this is the front, this skate, also this die, which I didn't pull out. This is the roller skate die. This is from KS Crafts. So I uh, layered that. The cloud, the rainbow. This star, these were all cut from my cameo, from images, um, images found on my cameo silhouette. And I'll try to link the numbers of these products. I'll put it up at the top of the screen here. So it created this cloud, this star, and then this rainbow. And as you can see, the front cover is a shaker. And I'm made a shaker mix I stitched around the edges added some gems in the corner made like a shaker front and you can see that rainbow paper in the background as well as matted with gold on all four sides top and bottom and so this mesh book is a tutorial from BB's craft channel this is one she created for a Halloween project, but we adapted it for this particular product and it could be project and it could be adapted for any Happy Meal 
a project that you want to use it for. And these are just the layers. These are three pockets that are created from the paper. And I just layered it using some water sprite and some gold. And that's the inside. And also created a pocket on the back to hold some things. So here are my embellishments. These were created with that cottage cut dye and I used vellum to create them really pretty. Sorry for the glare. Already have them packaged ready to go. And this is just a piece of that paper. The Life's a Party paper. Um, or did I show this one? This may have been a different paper. And this is actually this paper. This is called Sun Kissed. This one is Play All Day by Simple Stories. That's the reverse. So I use that as well. And I just put these on with a removable dot. Have them packaged in a bag. So that's the embellishment set of four we were to create. Also, here's my memory decks. And I just have it in iridescent that's in my stash take it out so you can see it so this is also a shaker this is the star uh svg i used and actually this svg was created look up the name it was either it was either michelle or jennifer that created in a swap that was hosted on that was hosted in the facebook group loaded envelopes and galore we had a memory deck swap and I used that same SVG, added some gems. Uh, this is that rainbow die and the word shine. And I just have a sticker with my info on the back. So that's my memory decks and that'll be packaged in the matchbook. So here's my card. And this also a cloud. Um, from the cameo file these these this is a silhouette file as well just highlighted some stars here made from this water sprite paper and i just punched those out this has popped up on dimension this background piece was something also a file from the silhouette cameo and it's on a black background and i created a white envelope these cards are four and a half by four and a half so I thought that was a different size to make. And then you, so here are the components that are going with it. So the base, the envelopes, and then here are the pieces where they can create the same card if they wish. I wanted to show you this because I thought this was so cute. Here's uh, one of the goodies I'm sending. And this is how I use that lollipop uh, die. I just used it to hold this lip gloss. And this is one of the words from the... Uh, one of the papers use the bow and that's the bag just to give it just a cute little idea for packaging and along with the other goodies uh, that are going I also sent a goodie um, using these suitcase candy containers they're clear acrylic and there are 2.55 by 1.96 1 point by 1.18 so not very big just wanted to show you how it looks so here it is and I made a little shaker with tool on that case and trimmed it with beads those are some cutouts from the collection and I just have some beads that I'm gifting them that's a little goodie so when it's all said and done and packaged up this is how it would look to my partners And I just, this is the tag. This is where I use uh, Scrap Divas 29, her tag. And I just uh, used some of the pieces that I already had cut up. Some of the negatives and used it to create the tie, the tag. And that's how it will come to my partner. So I will link what I can. And I'll also mark, I will also post any files or anything else that I used. Um, of any of the products that I use so that's my swap um, Geneva by the time you see this Geneva will have already done the reveal and matter of fact more than likely swap will be on its way back to me so you can 
come back to my channel to see what I get from my swap partners. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And you all stay safe. Stay crafty. Bye.